ovarian reserve tests. Ovarian reserves and reserve tests were all developed to determine the response to assisted reproduction or IVF drugs, how the ovaries and the follicles, the sacs that contain eggs, might respond to IVF drugs and ultimately how many eggs one might get in an IVF cycle. Therefore, they were not developed to test natural fertility. And therefore, the interpretation of these tests with regards to assessment or estimation of natural fertility uh, is always uh, should be with caution. There are three main ovarian reserve tests that are used in practice. FSH, AMH and AFC or antral follicle count. FSH and AMH are hormones and are therefore blood tests. First, FSH. FSH is follicle stimulating hormone. This is a hormone that is produced in the pituitary gland inside the brain. It travels by blood into the ovaries where it helps stimulate or develop the growing follicles. Follicles are sacs that contain eggs. FSH, however, varies during a menstrual cycle and therefore should be done in the early part of the menstrual cycle where it is at its basal level between ideally day two and day five. Roughly the FSH level in, in, is between two and 8.9 international units per liter in the UK uh, laboratory system. This is roughly the amount of FSH that is needed to develop a single follicle in a single cycle properly. This is how nature maintains the normal standard single follicle and pregnancy uh, in, a, in a particular cycle. A high FSH actually may be an indicator of a low ovarian reserve and therefore low ovarian response to IVF treatment. As said before, it's an indirect measure and therefore not an absolute or a, the best test available. AMH or anti-mullerian hormone, on the other hand, is directly produced by the growing follicles and therefore probably is a more direct and a better measure of the ovarian reserves and maybe of the ovarian of the egg quality as well. Though AMH varies with age and with some other factors, it does not vary uh, with, the, with the cycle or the timing of the cycle and therefore can be measured at any time. Roughly AMH may vary between 3 and 35 units in the UK. A low AMH is generally an indicator of a poor ovarian reserve, thereby poor ovarian response to IVF drugs. And a very high FSA, uh, AMH sorry, may be an indicator of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Lastly, AFC or antral follicle count is counting the number of growing follicles, developing follicles at the start of the cycle, in the early phase of the cycle with an internal ultrasound scan. And that also is somewhat direct measure of the follicles and therefore may give an estimate of the follicular number and the ovarian response to treatment. However, as stated before, these tests were all developed with regards to response to drugs, IVF drugs, to get the number of follicles, a number of eggs. Therefore, they are not necessarily a determinant of natural fertility. And any interpretation thereof should be with caution. Finally, however, the most important determinant of ovarian reserves and egg quality is the age of the woman. HFEA roughly uh, divides into various women into various age groups from this point of view, less than 35, 35 to 37, over 37 and over 40. And with increasing age, the, both the number and the quality of the eggs decrease drastically and the response in IVF treatment also therefore is generally reduced with advancing age. A low ovarian reserve in a young woman 
is still likely to respond better to IVF treatment than with a higher ovarian reserve in a woman who is close or beyond her or beyond 40 and vice versa. Therefore, age is probably much more important than any other ovarian reserve test. Okay.